Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this completely neutral look here. You guys really liked the look in my last favorites video with the highlighted contour products. So I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys. But this look is what I like to go for when I don't want to do too, too much. But I still want to be put together, if that makes any sense. It doesn't look like you spent too much uh, time and effort to your makeup when actually you really did. I do want to show you guys some of the new products that you're going to be seeing throughout the makeup tutorial. This is like going to be a first impression on these products. This is going to be makeup brushes that I got from Vanity Planet. This is their 15 piece set and it's called the palette set. It comes with 15 different brushes. It also came in a brush roll. So you're going to see how these bad boys work throughout this makeup look. I also use a new concealer to highlight and contour with. This is a concealer palette from Measurable Difference. It has 16 different shades of concealer in here. So you'll see this throughout the look. And I wish I had used this before I did my highlight and contour video because this would have been one of them. It actually has a lot of different shades in there. Um, to highlight contour and also to spot treat with so I actually was able to conceal some of the dark scars that I got from acne um, breakouts with this palette. Then the last thing is this browder which is a brow powder from Per Cosmetics or Pure Cosmetics of Pure Minerals. They have so many different names. It's just pretty much a a moist powder if that makes any sense for your brows to set your brows. So, I don't know how I feel about doing my entire brow with this simply because of the color. It is in brunette, but I don't like the color that it, you know, looked on my brows, on my entire brow. I did add it on the inner part of my brow to where it very, you know, it starts beginning here to have it fade. And then the rest of my brow just has my normal gel liner from Wet n Wild. So it, give, it did give me that nice fade and gradient effect. So that it didn't look so harsh on the inner part of my brow. So I do really like that. And it sets to a, like a matte finish. <laughs> it's just weird because it comes with, it comes like this and it looks like a little eyeliner. And you just pretty much just like brush it on. It's a pretty neat idea, really neat product. But I do like how my brows look nice and matte and just not so dark on the inner part of my brows. I've already done one of my brows to try to save time. I forgot to moisturize, so I am going to go ahead and moisturize my face. And I'm going to add a primer. Basically, just want to add this in the oily parts of your face. Also, put that on my eyelids because those get extremely oily as well. I'm going to be filling in my brows with my gel liner from Wet n Wild. Not sure how this really works so I'm just gonna put this on the beginning portion of my brows and see how that works out just go ahead and brush it out kind of blend it So Vanity Planet has this little small brush here that I can use to conceal my brows with. Okay, so I like this brush because it has like a pointed tip at the very center of the brush which makes it really easy to get close to the brow without actually getting the product on the actual brow here. So there's this bronze color also at the very bottom of the palette, the second from the bottom. I'm going to use the same concealer brush and use this to spot treat. It has more of like a peachy um, orange color undertone with it, so I think it would be really good for spot treating. It looks a little bit like it's orange. Yeah, it's going to be a really good spot treat concealer. Okay, 
I'm just gonna take this flat top brush here and just blend it in. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation today. This is in the shade 340 Cappuccino, which is actually lighter than what I normally use. Take a larger flat shader brush. You can use this as a concealer brush or a flat eyeshadow brush. It feels like it has synthetic hairs. So I'm going to use the same color toasted almond. And I'm just applying this everywhere I would normally highlight. Just put a little bit down the middle of the nose. I'm also going to go into Espresso, which is this dark color at the very bottom, and see if this works for contouring for me. It looks like it is. You should have a winner. So my cousin called and clearly I just forgot that I was doing a narrative on this tutorial. So I'm going to do a voiceover for the remaining of the video. But I'm just basically adding that darker shade of concealer around the areas that I want to contour. So I'm just placing that and then we're going to go back and blend it. I'm going to add a little bit down the size of my nose because I want that nose to be snatched, honey, okay? Snatched. I just want it to look a little bit more slimmer and all narrow and everything because it is a little bit wide. It just enhanced my cheekbones because, you know, I wasn't blessed with that. Mm, I don't know what we were talking about, but I was clearly all into the conversation. Okay, but we're going to go and blend out our highlight now, and I'm using the same flat brush from Vanity Planet Set, and this is the same brush that I use to apply the foundation or blend out the foundation. And then we're going to go back and blend out our contour. Now I'm taking a more rounded, fluffier brush, and then we're going to go ahead and blend out that contour. And a more fluffy brush just gives me more of a diffused and blended look. So I love doing this around the sides of my forehead. Just blending out that darker color so that it looks more blended and not so harsh. Now I'm taking one of the smaller blending brushes and we're going to use this to blend out the nose contour. And you want to use a smaller brush so it doesn't take over the nose or just over contour the nose. You definitely don't want to look like you have a sticker in your face. So you want to use a smaller, more appropriate, medium-sized brush, perfect for the size of your nose, just to blend out that line. And here I'm setting my concealer with some setting powder. I don't know what I was thinking. I was using a flat foundation brush looks like to apply powder which is clearly not the best brush to use but it works hey it works so I'm just applying some of my Ben Eye Banana and Topaz blend it was just mixed together just to get the perfect custom shade and I'm applying that to my concealer everywhere that I get oily as well it does help control oil as well as set your highlight. So 
So for this look, we're going for that no makeup makeup look. So it's going to call for no eyeshadow. So to do this, we're just going to apply the same concealer on our lids just to make sure that our lids are one complexion, doesn't look dark or anything like that. Get rid of the red, just get rid of the darkness. And then we're going to go back and apply a powder to set the concealer and make sure that the lids do not get oily throughout the day. Lately, I've been using this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is like one of my favorite products to reach for when I do my makeup. I just love setting my face with that sculpt uh, color that's in the middle. I love that shade to just set my concealer and my face overall, as well as to use for contouring and highlighting, but that powder just looks really nice. So I'm going to go back in the same palette, and we're going to highlight with using the fan brush from the same Vanity palette, and you can see that it gives you a nice highlight. So that palette is just very universal. I just love it for everything. I mean, I just get my highlight out of there, my contour out of there, my um, concealer powder I can set out of there. I just love that palette. So for this look, I don't like to go for any dramatic or very thick lashes. So I'm just going to go and put a primer on my lashes. I'm not going to really add any mascara or anything because I just want my natural lashes to blend or kind of just uh, blend in or melt in with the false lashes I'm going to apply. And these are the Salon Perfect Lashes. And I'll put the number down below, but I believe it's number 614. They just pretty much look like mink lashes, and I really like those because they look really natural and lightweight. Now I want to go back and add some blush. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in the shade Dark. Just to add a little bit of color to the face. And then I'm going to go back and add a neutral or nude lipstick by Iman called Baby Doll. And that's the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this very fresh face makeup and happy new year's to you all.